County. Uh, and Ashley Bowick, welcome Ashley. We are always delighted to have you and uh, here's some good things. Awesome. She'll be talking about a strategic plan for economic development for the county. So welcome. Well, thank you, Mayor and Council. I appreciate the invitation to be here tonight and, and speak to you on behalf of the county and the Economic Development Advisory Committee of Caldwell County. Uh, recently, we've undergone a strategic planning process and I came tonight uh, to, to update you about that strategic planning process as well as to solicit any feedback that you may have for us as we work through this plan and hopefully continue to make edits to this plan as we make growth uh, and opportunity happen here in Caldwell County. Uh, so first and foremost, why in the world did we need a strategic plan? Um, you know, you've been around a long time and probably the city has a strategic plan or a comp plan and uh, you understand the value of, of a document like this. But for me as the new economic development director for the county, it was really a guiding force for me and the staff to understand where we needed to spend our time, as well as to get feedback from uh, different parts of the community as to where they thought we should be spending our resources. When we're applying for grant opportunities too, it's also wise and, uh, you know, advise that we have a strategic plan that we can reference to to say that we're making action towards the goals that have been established in that plan. So just a little bit of history about the document itself. Um, the new Economic Development Advisory Committee was formed in April of this year. Um, we began the strategic planning process by the uh, Western Piedmont Council of Governments. Many of you are familiar with that organization. Mr. Anthony Starr and Taylor Dellinger came into our meetings and led those work sessions. We presented the draft document to the Economic Development Advisory Committee in June, and with their approval and recommendation, we presented that to the Caldwell County Board of Commissioners in July and ultimately got their approval for the plan. <coughs> Little shout out to the members of the EDACT, as we call it. Our board is a 17 member committee led by Dr. Mark Porch from Caldwell Community College. He's our board chair and Mark Transu from First Citizens is the vice chair. Janet Aiken, Aiken Controls, Alan Merck from Blue Ridge, uh, Richard Boyd from Automated Solutions, Rick Coffey from Macquarie Modern, Max Dyer from Kincaid, Jimmy Harrison from Caldwell County, Ann Smith, retired banking professional. She's also um, city, or excuse me, town of Hudson council member. Bonnie Cottle from Gamel, Chase Weinbarger from Sawmills, Jerry Church, Granite, Jonathan Greer from Hudson, John Blair, Banking, Rick Justice, uh, Road Hiss, Ronnie Setzer, Cagers Mountain, and then of course, last but certainly not least, your own Scott Hildebrand. Uh, so I really appreciate all the wisdom uh, on this committee. They offer a lot of guidance and support to myself and staff and their time is very appreciated. So circling back around to the strategic plan uh, and the process, we really went through a modified SWOT analysis to identify our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Listed here are the six top uh, threats or weaknesses that were identified for Caldwell County. These aren't new to you, I'm sure, but just to reiterate, lack of housing, <coughs> lack of building sites for industrial use, lack of child care and how that impacts labor participation, attracting younger employees and professionals to the region, uh, lower salaries compared to other counties, and then of course population dec decline, which we've been talking a lot about recently. <coughs> so in reverse of that, we talked about our opportunities or projects that we were working on or could be working on or priorities, how we should be prioritizing our, our resources and time. Uh, the number one uh, grow, or excuse me, opportunity listed there, supporting existed industries in Caldwell County. Um, number two, finding new sites for industrial development. Uh, help people, meaning our citizens, understand about the jobs and the opportunities and the training <coughs> available here within the county. Utility projects, which would include water and sewer, fiber. Uh, working to collaborate with our other partners in the community and to make our communities more attractive with use of code enforcement, Main Street projects, so forth and so on. So with those opportunities and uh, um, weaknesses identified, we came up collectively with four focus areas. 
So all of our strategic planning is really focused on four areas, existing industry support, site development and recruitment, public awareness and marketing, and other opportunities for collaboration, education, and support. So as we deep dive into um, the actual report itself, I thought I'd point out that some of the strategies in the comprehensive, or excuse me, the strategic plan um, coordinate with other plans in the region. So the Caldwell County Comprehensive Plan, there's some shared strategies between that comp plan and the economic development plan. There's shared strategies between the Western Piedmont Council of Government SEDS report, which many of you are familiar with. In fact, I think um, Mr. Ike Perkins served on the planning group who did the Western Piedmont SEDS. Um, so there's some shared strategies that we pulled from that report or that plan into our plan. And then the My Future NC attainment strategies. You all know Dr. Kim Case and her work with My Future NC. So there are several strategies within our document that align with these. We wanted to make sure that we highlighted that. So the first focused area is existing industry support. Uh, so in total, there's about 11 different strategies, possible strategies listed in this focus area. And I should have said to begin with, we really intend for this to be a living document. So we really want to make sure that we are flexible as things change in our community. Um, so on an annual basis, the plan is for the EDAC or the Economic Development Advisory Committee to evaluate this document, add things, take things away as we complete them. Um, so again, your feedback is really important to us. But the first focus area, existing industry support. We're currently working on two main areas in that uh, focus group. So we have been realigning some of the duties within the department. All of you know Mr. Bobby White, longtime um, champion here in Caldwell County. He retired at the end of September. And with his retirement, Jesse Trivet, who works in my office, has been promoted to his role, which is more of a business um, expansion retention specialist. So his job is to focus solely, mostly on our current industry in Caldwell County. He'll be doing systematic site visits, uh, developing tools, surveying our industry in Caldwell County to see what it is that they need, see what the gaps are and how we can help with that. The second one is the educational awareness for our educators. So this isn't new, but it's kind of been modified, revamped. Um, the former program was called Hired Ed. Some of you may be familiar with that program where during the summer they would take a group of educators and do some professional development, taking them on tours of different industries in Caldwell County. Well, we're doing that again, but we've called it Workforce Wednesday, connecting careers to the classroom. And we've taken it up a notch. Instead of going over the course of two or three days during the summer, we're actually taking the educators out of the classroom for four days during the school year. So what we're doing is we're focusing on four sectors in Caldwell County where there's job growth, good opportunities for our students to get plugged into training opportunities here locally at the community college and careers here in Caldwell County. So for example, we had our kickoff meeting in September. We took this cohort of 25 middle and high school students and counselors um, and we focused that day on medical service careers and public service careers. We all have job openings here locally in our, our government positions, and those are wonderful careers for students to look into. So again, focusing on healthcare and public service, we took tours that day of various entity, entities across Caldwell County. Then we spent lunch on the campus of Caldwell Community College where we engaged the teachers with the instructional programming at Caldwell Community College related to healthcare careers. We also had a really wonderful uh, panel from uh, Caldwell Community, excuse me, Caldwell Memorial Hospital, UNC Healthcare, who came in and talked to us about careers in healthcare. Uh, this program is well received. The teachers that are participating in it are amazed to find out about the opportunities here locally in Caldwell County and the hope is that they go back and share this with their peers, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as their students so we can make sure that we're engaging our students and the peers who work in the classroom uh, and that they know about the opportunities here locally. So our second focus area is site development and recruitment. 
So there's three areas here that we're currently working on, the staff and I. Uh, we are working to study the feasibility and the development of the rail and the Foothills Regional Airport. So excited about this. I had a phone call today with our consultant, Sanford's Hold Sanford Holzhauser, who's been conducting the Foothills Regional Airport feasibility study and targeted marketing analysis. That's the key right there. Who do we market this land to? Um, so we should have a report in hand by the end of the week, have a meeting scheduled with some of the managers so we can get an idea of what this report's gonna look like before we take it to the Airport Authority Board, which I know Mayor Gibbons is on, um, and to the EDAC Board. Um, so this study will identify who we should be targeting the almost 1,000 acres out there at the airport to trying to get some industry there uh, on the Caldwell Burke County line. The second area that we're working in in the site development and recruitment focus group is identifying other sites in Caldwell County that we can do industrial development on. The next slide I'll show you is a um, snapshot of Evergreen Industrial Park, which you may have heard of, but we want to recreate that. The commissioners have said, hey, Ashley, we want to do this in every local government in Caldwell County. Um, so we have contracted with Western Piedmont Council of Governments to do a feasibility study of the entire county to look for opportunities where the county and our local government partners can work together to do more industrial site development work. Uh, the third thing listed here is exploring additional public-private partnership opportunities. This is something that's been done in other areas across the state and the country. Um, our neighbors next door, Catawba County, they are will say experts at this. Uh, so I'm taking a note from their playbook and they've shared a lot of their resources. Shout out to actually all of our economic development commissions around us who've been very gracious and helpful as I've transitioned into this new role. But we're looking at some public-private partnerships. We've had people approach the county who say, hey, look, we're interested in, in um, supporting you in this. How can we do it? So conversations continue. Here, as promised, is a snapshot of the Evergreen Industrial Park. We're really excited about this industrial park. It's a partnership with the town of Sawmills. It's uh, 34 acres, roughly, and it has utilities adjacent to the site. Uh, just, I guess, two weeks ago now, uh, we announced the receival of the ARC grant. So just over $500,000 awarded by the Appalachian Regional Commission to extend the water and sewer lines from the adjacent property onto the land. Uh, this is a matching fund grant, so sawmills in the county are putting in you know, $500,000 as well for a grand total in this project, just over $1,026,000. Um, so we're very excited to kick off this project. We're still doing due diligence, getting ready to start the phase two environmental review. The plan right now, as you see it, is for four roughly 50,000 square foot building, one 2,000 square foot building dividable. So the four, well, sorry, rather, third area is public awareness and marketing. I uh, expanded on that a little bit with the Workforce Wednesday program. Uh, but right now, we're, we have completed, thank goodness, the website improvements. Our old EDC website was 14 years old. If you know anything about websites, that's really old. Uh, so we've worked diligently, the staff, mostly Randy Knopf in the office, uh, to work with a third party, Golden Shovel, who is an expert in economic development website. Um, and we're very pleased with it. There's lots of information here. We even highlight all the communities, including the city of Lenore, on this website. There's a report builder, so if anyone has a company that's looking to relocate, um, you know, they can be directed to myself or staff or even someone here on the city of Lenore staff, and you can click on a couple buttons on the home page, and it generates a report that is a PDF that can be emailed out to the developer or the prospective company. Um, in addition to website improvements, we know that today's youth um, are really into videos, short videos. Uh, so we are really actively engaging our creative skills as well as those who uh, are experts in this area to start using video and multimedia to reach the demographics in which we're trying to reach. One of the things that we're doing is reviving a old program with the Caldwell County Government TV station. We're calling it Caldwell Made. 
and we are partnering with the Chamber of Commerce as well. The Chamber will focus on six um, sectors or small businesses in the county. I will focus on different industry in the county. We will actually produce, with the help of the Caldwell County Government TV staff, a full-length 30-minute video that will air on the county television station. Uh, but we all know the demographic of that is, you know, 80 plus. Uh, not necessarily the workforce that we're trying to engage in our jobs locally. Uh, so we take that video, that footage, and we break it down into smaller 30 second, one minute videos that we can share on social media platforms. And we have a library of this that our school system has access to and can use to um, hopefully share in the classroom. Last one, I promise. Uh, fourth focus area, other opportunities for collaboration, education, and support. Uh, I don't know about you, but in my house, I have one of those junk drawers in my kitchen that catches everything. This is that area that catches everything that we didn't really neatly know where to put it. Um, so one thing that I really realized in economic development, it's not just my job. It's not just your job. It's everybody's job. We all got to work together to make things better here in Caldwell County. Um, it's a team effort, and there's lots of collaboration <coughs> that needs to happen. If it's not happening, it needs to happen. Um, so uh, other opportunities is where we stick projects like My Future NC, where we want to collaborate with Kim in the calls to have all these people credentialed locally um, for future employment opportunities in Caldwell County. We have been working with uh, the Center of Rural Innovation. This was a grant that we received from our friends at Google to assess the community to see if we would be a spot for a tech hub. Um, so this is something that we're working on with partners at the community college and the Center of Rural Innovation. Uh, secondly listed there, promoting the development of bicycle and pedestrian facilities um, connecting communities in our area. It's really not in my wheelhouse per se as the economic development director, but we can promote it and we can work with our partners at the Chamber of Commerce and Western Piedmont Council of Governments who are helping us uh, look for grant funding to connect Caldwell County to the trail system that Hickory has so artfully created uh, just across the river. Um, so this is just two examples of how we're working in this focus area currently. I feel like I've talked a lot and I've talked pretty quickly. Uh, but I welcome your feedback and suggestions. As I said, the strategic plan, which I know is in your uh, agenda packet, is intended to be a living document, something that we edit and modify based on the suggestions that our um, EDAC offer. So you have Scott, who's on our EDAC board, and we would love to get your feedback. Um, you know, so if you have any, please direct it my way or towards Scott, and we'll make sure that we are uh, including that in our next revision of the strategic plan. That's all okay. I have, unless you have any questions for me. Any questions for Ashley? <clears throat> great, great, uh, good start. And, and you, you know, a lot of good things are going on with it, I know. I appreciate all the work you're doing around the, the county. The airport thing has been great. We got a, we got a gym there. We just got to figure out how to, how to, uh, to use it. And uh, mm -hmm. so, a lot of good things are going on. So, you said that's 34 acres? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We think roughly 800 usable. Oh, you're talking about Evergreen, I think, 34 acres. No, I was talking about the airport. Thousand. Airport yeah. is um, 1,000 acres. Wow. Yeah. 800 yeah. usable. 34 <laughs> acres is the Evergreen Industrial Park in Sawmills. There's a lot, uh, the airport's a lot of, a lot of space. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Good Thank report. you. Thank you all. Thank you, Ashley.